Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick look at the chord trigger MIDI effect today. This is a pretty awesome MIDI plugin which we can use to do some really cool things with some chords. What we have here are two rows of keyboards. One, we have the input and then we have the output. And so with the trigger keys, watch what happens when I trick, click one of them. I have a MIDI keyboard here too, which we can use. So the whole point is, is that we have one key that we can assign a chord to, and it does some pretty awesome stuff. We're using one of the presets right now, just so you can see that. We have things like guitar voicings, uh, keyboard voicings, parallel chords, and then of course we can make all of our own. So for instance, if I want to make one of my own, expand the trigger keys, we're going to learn. And with this, Turn off learn. That chord now is memorized. We can do some transpositions as well, uh, but this is for the multi. So one key equals multiple. We also have single mode, which is going to do one chord across all of the keys. Anyway, so I'm using it in this little I don't know, eight bar loop that I've got going here just as the foundation for a song I'm going to start working on. And I wanted it kind of to be like a little guitar sound. Here's the, the overall sound. Now, of course, the voicings on this are from a keyboard style which means that they're too close together to be like a guitar. But if we wanted to go more realistic, we could certainly use some of the guitar voicings here, uh, which are pretty interesting. So for instance, let's turn that one off for a second. And let's do chord trigger part two. And let's come in here to our multi guitar voicings. And let's see, let's do keyboard. So you can see that's the single voices. Let's go up an octave. So some interesting things there. Let's turn that one off. This one back on. So I built this whole eight bar loop around that original sound. Added the bass second. Well, the drums came in right by the same time as the bass. So it's kind of a cool sound. It definitely sounds more like a synth uh, keyboard part than a, a guitar part, but that's just one note there. So let's actually come in here to that. One note line. And you'll notice the pitch doesn't actually represent where the chords are going because that chord trigger um, any note can trigger any chord, different octaves, different voicings, all of that. 
And so it really doesn't correspond visually necessarily unless you have uh, the actual trigger open as well. So that's the chord trigger. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow.